Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Hub on Facebook. This quick video is going to show you how to remove a permanently installed font that you have in Shortcuts a Lot 4. Okay, so I have this font here. I don't want it. It doesn't cut cleanly, it doesn't look good. So I need to get it out of here, and anytime you install it, it <laughs> installs twice. So I want it gone. Okay. So what I'm going to do to get it gone, come into your PC, to your Windows C section, okay? So come over here. If you can't find it, go to this PC and click on the Windows C. When you get in here, click into the Windows folder. That'll bring up all of this stuff. Go find your fonts folder. Double click on that. That will bring up all the fonts that you have installed onto your system. I will let you know that this will not allow you to remove system fonts. Oh, look, there's our little Frenchville, or French, whatever it's called. So I clicked and highlighted, just clicked once. So there's a one click. Here's just a one left click. And I'm going to click delete. Yes, I want it gone. Wait till it works. Okay. So it's deleted. Please do not panic. Let's go find this again. Let's go look in our folder structure system. I know it's in my fonts. There it is. It's still there. So it's still fully available. Now let's go check out our sure cuts a lot. Okay, so it looks like it's still there. Let's pull it down and restart our sure cuts a lot. It's gone. There are no more 1792. It's gone. Okay. This is right above Aaron. It is not there anymore. It is completely gone. Still safely tucked onto my system. Uh, ready to be installed if I so choose, but I don't want to, so no. All right. Maybe a temporary load at some point, but I'm not going there. If you need to see how to temporarily load them, please go view that video. Um, to find it on my YouTube channel, search Fonts Jen Blasey, and it will come up for you. All right, guys. Thanks.